Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. Your beginner workout today is a combination of arms and cardio. So I'm going to do one arm exercise, one cardio. It's going to be a no repeat. We're just going to go on and on. I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. You're going to require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, so make sure you grab those. Hey, if you're interested in our Limber Life Mobility Program, it is now available. You can click or tap the card at the top of the screen or check in the description below for the link. All right, ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. Okay, arms and cardio, oh, what to put. I think I'll put high intensity intervals. Um, let's start right here. It's not really, I mean, the cardio will kick up the intensity for sure. And if you'd like to jump those things out instead of doing low impact like I'm doing, definitely feel free to do that. Reach it here. Good. Let's do a little heel, dig and press. And overhead press right here. And to the side. I think it's the arms warmed up quick, doesn't it? <laughs> Just holding the isometric contraction. I like it. All right. One circle right here. And switch directions. Good, switching sides. And switch direction. Let's take our arms to the sides. One behind the head, one behind the back, and switch. Stretching in through that ball and socket in the shoulder girdle, warming it up. Two more here. Let's take it wide in our stance. Toes are out and tap the toe. If you can't reach your toe, tap your shin, tap your knee. Other arm goes up behind you and you're stretching in the chest there. Knees are soft. Torso turn. Very nice. All right, we're going to start with that cardio exercise. We'll increase blood flow a little bit more, then we'll grab the weights and start those exercises. All right, let's start with our cardio. We're going to do two knees to the front and then reach out two knees to the side. So high knees basically, but two to the front, two to the side. Here we go. So you're one, two, out to the side, side. Good, front and side. I'm grabbing those light weights, twos or threes would be fine here. We're gonna do a step behind, tricep kick out. All right, alternating sides with that tap. Keep those elbows out to the side. And step and tap, right there.
Elbows up. No shrugging though. Flex that tricep. Set the weights down and into your cardio kicks. Okay, you're here. You could also front punch instead of that overhead reach if you need. Let's kick things up. Here we go, you're here. To our weights, I'm gonna grab those tens for my hammer curls. You can go lighter, fives or eights. Shoulders back, knees are soft. We curl straight up and down. And lift right here, up. Very nice. No swinging at the bottom. And I want you to focus on keeping your elbows in your chest up and out. You don't want to round. Don't drop your chin or your eyes. Stay looking at me. Two jabs, two jacks. Cardio here. So we'll jab, we'll jab. Two jacks there. All right, two jabs. One, two, and jack. One, two. Okay, go really light on this one. Twos or threes or no weight. This is a combination of shoulders with your high knees. So we'll single press, double knee. All right, shoulders here. Single press, two knees, single press, two knees. Stay tall, you can eliminate the legs if you need. Just give me that shoulder press. This is nice because it kicks the heart rate up a little bit. Very good, and set those down. Okay, into your cardio. We're gonna do a low side shuffle. With a tap, you can kick it up if you wish right there. I'll keep it low impact and shuffle here. And tap, good. All right, back to triceps. We're gonna go into a tricep kickback. Threes or fives here. Single, single, double. So hinge forward at the waist. Elbows are up. And single here, 
single, other side. Now double together here and up. Single, single, double. Last one here. Into your butt kicks. Weights go down. All right, we're going to front punch and overhead punch right there for the butt kick. Nice rapid fire. You're here and here. That's it. Again, if you just need to do that front punch without a punch without lifting your hands overhead, that's fine. into those bicep curls. I think I will stick with my tens for my pinwheel curl here. Shoulders are back, palms face the ceiling and we're alternating sides. So we curl right here and flex, switch. Wrist stays locked and neutral. Don't let your wrist bend back. And don't twist the body to the side either. Don't do this. Okay, stay facing me. You're just bringing the weight up and flexing the bicep at the top. And into your cardio, we've got a front kick, back kick. This is our last cardio before the water break. So you're two in front, two behind right there. Let's work. You're one, two, back, one, two. That's it. Okay, walk it out. Take a little water break. You've got 30 seconds to bring the heart rate down. Pause if you need a longer rest. Okay, we're going right back in to triceps with that skull crusher. All right, you could use two lighter dumbbells, like maybe two twos or fives. I'm gonna use 110. Knees are soft, elbows are close to my ears. All right, chest is up and we're flexing at the top here. And we press and flex. All right, it's called the skull crusher for a reason, folks. <laughs> Just tuck your chin in slightly to your chest so that you don't clock yourself in the brain, please. Flex right there, full flex at the top. Very nice, setting that down. Okay, I'm gonna go into four high knees with two frogs. If you don't wish to do the frog, just stick with your high knee there. Four and two, one, two, three, four, drop here and here.
You need a wide stance to drop those glutes low. Moving into lateral raises. Twos, threes, maybe fives here. I've got my threes. Shoulders are back. Knees soft, a slight softness in the elbow. We'll pop to 90 degrees right there. So we're up and slow. Good. So make sure you're not rounding the chest. Keep your chin up. And up to 90 degrees on the armpit is good. If your weights are too light, you could always pause at the top a little bit longer to add more tension. All right. Always ways to make it more challenging. Let's move into a traveling butt kick here. You could stay put if you don't wish to travel and just do that butt kick punch. I'm gonna travel front and back, four to the front, four to the back. Here we go, and you're four, three, two, one, back for four, three, two, one. Grabbing my eights for dumbbell curls here. I'm going a little bit lighter because now we're gonna focus on the peak of the bicep. A Little bit harder to do than focusing on the long head. Palms face the ceiling and we curl all the way up and all the way down. Keep those elbows tucked in again and you're standing super tall, chest is up and out. I want you to really control the down, okay? A lot of people will do this. When they're going down, they'll stick their butt out, they'll hinge forward. They're gonna soften your knees so that it's all biceps here and no lower back, okay? Nice, and into your cardio. I'm gonna do a speed bag. High knee, I'll call half. We'll switch sides, shoulders low. Here we go, and we, no, and we go. <laughs> I was ahead of myself there. So excited about this exercise. All right, watch your face. Good one for shoulders here as well. Three, two, one, switch sides, up. We're doing a single side tricep crossover. So a five, a three, an eight, maybe somewhere in that range. I've got an eight, I'll call half, and we'll switch sides, bringing it here, and we cross and flex at the top. Last one here, and switch your side.
One knee, one kick in your cardio here. So one knee, one kick and punch. You can kick and punch low if you don't have that extension in your hamstring. Alternate, here we go. One and punch, one and punch. All right, last shoulder here. I'm gonna take threes again. We're gonna go into that front raise, palms face the ground. Lift up to 90 degrees, stick your chest out at the bottom. Knees are soft and we lift up. Last 10 seconds, stay with me. Make sure you stay tuned for a stretch afterward as well. Lengthen through all these muscles. Three, two, one and done. You move daily in your no repeat arm and cardio workout. Thanks for joining everyone and let's stretch it out. Well done everyone. Find a wall in your house. Open up into that pec muscle right here, a little bit of front shoulder. Grab a wall, maybe the end of a couch, a chair, something where you can just stretch open. So I'm starting there and then I'm externally rotating the rest to lengthen through that area. We have tight pecs. If you're on a phone or a computer at all, you probably do switch sides. And part of that is because we don't have strong back muscles. So we need to definitely work those as well. I have lots of back exercises in my upper body workout. So if you're like, yeah, I'm getting sort of rounded. I don't like that then be sure to stretch your pecs and work your back, okay? Let's round through the back here. Try to separate those shoulder blades. Mm, just pull that gently apart here. Very good. All right, arms back, thumbs down. We'll stretch those biceps here. And go ahead and give your neck a little tilt to one side. Okay, you can tilt your chin up to the ceiling or look your eyes up to the ceiling to increase that stretch. I really feel that in those neck extensors, switch sides. Yeah, it's like the eyes looking up all of a sudden just make a big difference. <laughs> it's weird. Very good. Oh, relax there. Let's take that arm behind the back. You're gonna gently pull it this way and tilt your neck the same way, working and stretching that front shoulder here. This is a, this is a hard stretch on this, this side for this girl. A little tighter than I want it to be. Switch sides. I think we all have that, eh? We all have like things that start to go south as we age. The thing is, if we don't do anything to help strengthen or increase mobility and make those things more limber, they're not going to get there on their own, right? A uh, little tricep stretch right here. So it's important to do our due diligence for ourselves and make sure that we have good mobility in all of our areas, in our ankles, in our thoracic spine, in our shoulders, in our hips. Uh, that's all what we do in our little Limber Life program. Every day, well, there's four days a week, you're doing something for it for the, for the entire month, and then you just put the month on repeat. And they're between like five and 12 minutes, so nothing too long. Um, but it's great. We've got dynamic stretches in there, PNF stretches, foam rolling, mobility exercises and routines, mobility testing, um, and then things like diagonal jump training and balance training. So it's a, it's a full mobility limber life program. You can check that out right here and order yours today, and I'll see you in the next workout.